Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree Christmas DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you my version of the LED unfinished wood light lanterns. When I saw these in Dollar Tree, I fell in love and knew that I had to do them for Christmas. Okay, let me show you how to make them. Here is a list of the tools and materials I used to complete the project. For your convenience, I've also included a detailed list in the description box below. Let's get started! Now I found these really cute little wood uh, lanterns at Dollar Tree. Uh, I picked up one of each of them. I thought they were really cute. Now they, the light only comes out on one side. The other three sides are just plain. And it does have the light on the bottom that you can turn on so they light up. Now for these two that have a very intricate front, I'm going to be painting these white. And then this one that just has the cross in the front, I'm going to be painting with the Waverly Antique Wax. Okay, so I put a little bit of the antique wax here on a plate. And I'm going to add just a little bit of water to it. To thin it down, just mix that together. I don't want it to be too dark, I just want it to work more like a stain. Now just be careful that you don't get it all over the rope when you're applying. Just go ahead and get it on there and then I only I put it down and wipe off any excess. And then it looks just like a stain. You don't need a whole lot. You just want to do a small section at a time. Now, if you want it really dark, you uh, can just not water it down. Uh, you can also just paint it on and leave it and not wipe it off. That'll give you a much darker stain. So there you go. I'm going to go through and I'm going to finish painting the outside of this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and give these guys a coat of white paint. Okay, so I got everything painted. This is uh, in the Waverly Antique Wax. And then these two I just did um, Apple Barrel White. So those aren't quite dry, uh, but this one is dry enough to work with. Now to decorate this one, I made a small little wreath with a red bow and some red berries on it. I want to glue that right to the front here. I just put some hot glue on the top and the bottom of the wreath. And then go ahead and place that. That looks just like that. And then for the top here, I cut a couple pieces of this pine garland ties. They're both about an inch long. I have a few little red berries 
and a little regular pine cone. I'm going to glue that right up here on the top. I'm going to start here with the greenery. Now I always like to glue the pointed end down. Okay, so I got my greens down. I'm going to go ahead and put the pine cone here right in the middle of the front. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of red berries on either side. And there you go. Now, I really like that these have a hanger because you can actually hang these on your tree as an ornament. They would also look really cute on a side table or on a tiered tray. But I think they are so adorable. Okay, so my white ones are dry enough for me to move forward with. So I'm going to take a little bit of the antique wax and I like to use these pouncing brushes for this technique. I just get a little bit on there and then I'm going to go through an antique and I usually go through and hit all the edges first. This helps get the majority of the paint off so I don't end up getting too much in one spot. And I just go through and add a little bit. Once I got the majority of that paint off, then you can just slightly go through, go up and down, get to the end TV. And if you get too much or you don't like it, you always go back with some sandpaper or with some more white paint and take some off so don't worry about that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to antique both of these until I'm happy with them and then we'll be back okay so I got my distressing done on the little white lanterns I'm really happy with them so we're gonna start with this one I went ahead and made a little bow. It's just your basic bow. And I used this ribbon that I picked up from Dollar Tree. This is 5 eighths of an inch by 9 feet. It has a white background and little poinsettias on it. And then I have this little bit of silver metallic ribbon. Uh, this I picked up from Walmart a long time ago. I had it in my stash. And I wanted to add a little sparkle, so I added that. And then in the middle, I added just a small red uh, vase filler. Okay. And then also to this, I have a few pieces of some flocked fern and some red berries. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start on the top here with my flocked fern. This glued down on the top there. I just put a little bit of hot glue there on the stem and then place that stem where I want it. And I'm going to add some berries.
once that glue sets, you kind of pull the little silver guys down and kind of forward. Then I'm going to go ahead and glue my bow right in the middle. Okay, so I just cut the tip off of one of the little ferns. I want to glue just a small piece of this on the bottom here. In the front. And just a little touch of some red berries. And then I think I'm going to tack these down on either side. Okay, so I just tacked it down right there on the side. I like that much better. So just put a small amount of hot glue onto your fern. And then place it. You just need to hold it there until that hot glue sets. Do your best to get it even with the other side. Okay, and there you go. That one's all done. I think that looks so cute. Very winter feeling. And it looks really cute all lit up. Okay, and then for the last one here, you're going to need one full piece of this pine uh, garland ties. And we're going to start up here on the corner on the top. I'm going to glue it down and then we're going to wrap it around the back till it comes to the front and then glue it down here on this corner in the front. Okay. Okay, so I got that glued down. I'm really happy with that. Now to decorate this, I have some more of the flocked fern have some more regular pine cones. I have some regular white berries and I have a little bit of some odd and end greenery. And so I'm going to take a little piece of this fern, the flock fern. I'm going to glue a piece down here on the corner. Also going to glue a piece up here on the top corner. Okay, then I'm going to add a pine cone to each spot as well. Just hit a little hot glue on the back of that. And then instead of the red berries, I wanted to add some white berries to this one. Now 
Now it's amazing how just a little snip here and a little snip there of these can really add a lot to something, especially something like this. So one stem can last you several projects. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue in a little bit of this greenery throughout wherever I think it looks appropriate. And just add a little, little dab of glue there on the end and then stick it in. I also have this, which is called Pearl Wrap. And it doesn't have any stickiness on it, but there's like five rows of pearls. So I just pull out a couple inches, cut that off, and then I'm going to go ahead and just trim out each row until I have about three or four rows. Okay, so I have my individual strips. We went ahead and folded that in half. And I'm going to add just a teeny bit of hot glue right at the tip there. And then I want it to kind of hang off. Fold in half. Okay, so I ended up adding three pieces. I did one on this side that was folded, and then I did one here on the corner, and then one a little further over. I think that looks really pretty. I think I want to put a bow right up here in this corner. So I'm going to use some of this black and white buffalo check. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie a simple bow, just like you would if you were tying your shoelace. Add a little dollop of hot glue and then go ahead and place your bow. And there you go, that one's all done. I think that looks absolutely adorable. Okay, I'm all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's craft. I had a lot of fun redoing these little lanterns for Christmas. Now these are perfect. You can hang them on your tree as an ornament. You can use them on a side table or your mantle for decor. And they would also look absolutely adorable in the tiered trays. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. I hope you and your family are all staying happy, healthy, and strong. You have a great day, and I will catch you next time.